Hello everyone, Vincent Thiel from PGTV Test here. I'm here at Sony Professionals office in Basingstoke who are holding an event together with AWE Europe, one of their major distribution partners in the UK. And what we are seeing today is basically all the flagship products of Sony Professionals division under one roof, which is truly exciting for me because from the point of view of Sony as a brand and as a company, I think one of their unique proposition is their lens to living room story. They have products for the source capture, their Sony Venice camera, and then they have the products for the grading and mastering, basically the Sony BVM X300 and also the new HX310 reference broadcast monitors and in fact while at this event I had the opportunity to stand in front of the Sony Venice camera and see myself being actually broadcast on the HX310 and believe me when I say that I've never looked so good even when I look at myself in the mirror in the morning you know I've never seen myself looking this handsome but from the point of view of the lens to living room story that continues on to the end display as well so at this event we will be seeing the Sony projectors in terms of the VW870, the VW570 and the VW270 but what I'm most tempted by what I'm most attracted to is basically this large screen display beside me here which is Sony's crystal LED. Now in the years gone by they have always named this as Cladis but they have actually retired the term Cladis and they are branding this as crystal LED and the word crystal is chosen because of the quality that this screen can bring in terms of the transparency, in terms of the clearness. From the camera you may see a horizontal scan line going up the screen that is just because of the camera frame rate that I'm actually using. In real life I don't really see any scan lines at all and the picture is truly crystal clear. So let's start from the beginning then. Crystal LED is essentially micro LED technology similar to that implemented on Samsung's The Wall. Now this screen beside me is massive. It is 110 inch in size. Obviously when Sony sells it to professional consumers or even really high-end installation, it can come in bigger sizes because the panels are modular. You can actually stack those panels together to make up any screen size you want but they will be offering three major packages turnkey solutions for either corporate offices or really high-end super yacht or high-end residential installs those are going to be 146 inch 182 inch and also 219 inch in screen size but today what we have here is merely a 110 inch version because of the ease of transport and if you pay attention to the bezel here it is extremely thick it's probably the thickest bezel that i've seen it's probably even thicker than my mancunian accent the reason why sony has actually put on such a big bezel on this particular screen is for protection and my advice in life is always use protection that you know when they are transporting it they have to actually fold the screen into half and transport it all around the world so this bezel here you know if you choose to buy this you know you can specify the bezel to be as thin as you really want it and the only reason why this bezel is so thick here is entirely because you know they wanted to actually protect the the screen during transport either across Europe or across the world now let's delve into the technical specifications of this screen then Micro LED technology, self-emissive, so it will have all the characteristics of uh, self-emissive technology. Very, very wide viewing angles with the colors and contrast that, that don't desaturate off-axis and also very high contrast value. So we've been quoted a contrast ratio of 1 million to 1, essentially black is black. And this is going to be very similar to OLED and standing here in front of this should I even call it a TV? I, I call it a screen. Yeah. So standing in front of this 110 inch screen, you know, I just get the same type of feeling that I get when I watch a really, truly bright HDR display. And the peak brightness has been specced at 1000 nits, but better than OLED because OLEDs can reach probably around 800 nits and they are self emissive as well. But what they are actually limited by is basically ABL or automatic brightness limiter. Now this screen because it is modular 
the pixels, you know, they can actually generate 1,000 nits from every pixel. So full screen brightness is also at 1,000 nits. And believe me when I say that, when you have a 1,000 nit screen that is not actually hampered or restricted by ABL or at automatic brightness limiter, everything just becomes clearer, brighter, more impactful in terms of the HDR. And standing in front of the screen, I really, I'm telling you, it's, a, it's truly a wonder to see and behold. Now, the resolution. When we talk about resolution or micro LED, we have to start talking about the pixel size and also of the pixel pitch. And you may be surprised to learn that the resolution of this 110 inch crystal LED from Sony is only high definition or 1920 times 1080. And this is because of the difficulties to try and shrink the pixel pitch on their crystal LED or micro LED displays. But if you wish for a higher resolution, you can certainly go up to the 146 inch version, which I believe has a resolution of 1440p. And if you go up to the 182 inch version, it will have a resolution of 3200 times 1800. And if you go all the way up to the 219 inch, that will give you a true UHD resolution, ultra high definition resolution of 3840 times 2160 pixels. The prices of Sony's crystal LED display is certainly not affordable. It's more aimed towards professional installations, let's say corporate offices or even really high-end residential installations or on a super yacht and things like that. So the price for the 146-inch version will be 350,000 euros. The price for the 182-inch version will be half a million euros. And also the top-end 4K 219-inch version will be 700,000 euros. And within the price, what you will get is basically the display, the frame, and the signal processor. And also, you will get it installed, included into the price, and also a three-year maintenance support. If you are spending that much money anyway, you might as well just go for the larger screen size, the 219-inch version. But coming back to the characteristics of this micro-LED display, the reason why Sony is particularly emphasizing on the word crystal in crystal LED is because of the transparency. Now, Sony is saying that they are using their own unique technologies to put the micro LEDs directly mounting it on the panel. And the pixel size that Sony has actually come up with is 0.003 square millimeters, which is extremely small. It's, it's probably even finer than a human hair. And because of the pixel size, the black occupancy on each pixel is going to be over 99%, giving the black base, giving the ideal canvas for all these colors and contrast to pop. And because of such a small pixel size, Sony has also a unique technology where they can use a camera to align the tiles. Remember when I spoke about Samsung's The Wall and many other micro LED technologies, I've always seen a visible seam line between the different modules. It is less apparent on Sony's implementation than any other version that I've seen. And according to the company, what they have done is to really take advantage of the small pixel size of these micro LEDs and being able to make micro adjustments based on their camera unique alignment tool to really align it in a proper manner such that you don't get visible seam lines, you get a really seamless display in terms of the contrast. And because of this direct mount solution that Sony is using, it means that there will be an isotropic luminescence as well. And I had to ask the Sony engineers what that means. It means that the luminance and the colors will be equal in all directions rather than a surface mounted device in a package where Sometimes at certain angles, you will see scattering of the contrast and colors causing a speckle-like appearance. And this is why Sony has chosen to use the word crystal. The transparency, the clearness of the picture emanating from the screen is just really outstanding. And obviously, my own criticism is that you know, the resolution could be higher, but again, it's due to a limitation of the technology. So. 
that is from the pixel pitch and the pixel size point of view and Sony's belief is that the pixel size is a more important attribute in terms of aligning these panels than pixel pitch. So some other features or specifications that I've managed to glean at this event is the color gamut coverage. It will cover 140% of sRGB or 80% of BT2020. And earlier I mentioned the price of the panel, 250,000 euros for the 146 inch half a million for the 182 inch version and also 700,000 euros for the 219 4K model and within these prices you will get the panel, the signal processor, you will get 10-bit processing, you will get up to 120 frames per second, you will get up to three years of panel maintenance and support and all the installation will be taken care of. So I don't think this is a display for us general consumers. It is more aimed towards corporate office, towards high-end installation, towards super yacht. But I think this gives us a glimpse into the exciting technology that micro LED can bring to the market and hopefully in the near future we'll be seeing this in domestic environments as well. If you found this video useful, please click the like button and subscribe to the HGTV Test YouTube channel for more videos like this. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.